Okay, now we're going to go through the user flow. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a menu now. So let's go to menus. Okay, and then we're going to add a new menu. Let's just call it navigation. Okay, so let's create. Okay. Now, theme locations. You can decide whether you want a top primary or a secondary menu in left sidebar. So let's put it in the left sidebar. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add these into the menu. Okay, so that was priority services, ABC company, and welcome. These are our three private areas. So we're going to add to the menu. Okay, and we're going to save the menu. Okay, so let's go have a look now. Okay, so you see here we have priority services, ABC company, and welcome. So as admin, we can see all of these. Okay, so welcome to private area. Here's ABC company. And here is Priority services. Okay, now since we didn't put the menu over here, like we didn't put the, the sub page on the menu, which we can go back and fix, we should do that. Otherwise, we could link to it from within here, however, you decide you want to do that. So let's just go back into here. Let's go into menus. And then let's add that. And then we can move this up. Okay, so like that. Okay, let's save the menu. Okay, so once you've done this, you can just add a user. Okay, so when a company signs up, you go set the company up first, set up all their pages. Then you're going to add them to the menu, just like this. You just add, go and find their their company in here, or however you set it up. Add it to the menu, and then we're get, then you add the user. Okay, so let's go to users. We're going to add new, and we're going to call this ABC user. Okay, and then email. Okay, so we now we're going to add the new user. Okay, so automatically they're going to get access to subscriber. Now let's go in here. Now, what we're going to do is come down here, and we're going to add them to the group. Okay, so we're going to add ABC user to ABC company. So simple as that. Now, the other thing you might want to do is go and set up a login redirect. And I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go and we're going to log in as ABC Company. So we'll log out. So ABC user. Okay, now this is where I was saying about the login redirect, because when they log in, they're going to come straight to their profile. Okay, and it shows them that they're part of ABC company. So let's go and visit the website now. Okay, so you see here now, 
we have ABC Company and Welcome. So Welcome is the subscriber role that's attached and ABC Company is the ABC Company role. Okay, they cannot access the other group that we set up. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you there. Now let's go back and log in with admin again, and then we're going to add another user and put in a login redirect to finish up. Okay, so let's go down to settings and log in, log out, redirect. Okay, now you can either, you could set up by username if you wanted and select each username to go to their specific group URL. But what we could do instead is just say specific role. So we'll say subscriber. And they should just go to the home page. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so that's the easiest thing to do. We could also use levels here. Now, there's no real advantage to this when you can use subscriber. Okay, and then that's all we need there. So let's update. So that'll take them to the front page after they log in rather than to the dashboard. So let's add one more user. And we'll call him Priority. Email. Okay, so we'll add them. Okay, so we have Priority user now. Let's go in here. And we're going to assign them to priority services. Okay, so let's log out. Now we're gonna log in as priority user. Okay, so now you see that it's brought them back to the home page and now we have the priority services private area and the project notes okay so go to the project area or the private area okay and then project notes and there it is Okay, so that's how you can set up a simple client portal for your users.